Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now April 3rd of 2024 and given that every single division over at the Walt Disney Company are facing numerous challenges, not just throughout this year of 2024, but also what's going on with 2025 due to all the expensive failures on the horizon, not just limited to Marvel Studios, but it also has a lot to do with Disney in general. Let's not forget about Snow White 2025, which is still on course to release and drop in March of next year. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So one film connected to the MCU that Disney is 100% banking on is Deadpool 3 aka Deadpool and Wolverine that has actually been going through a lot of drama behind the scenes between Reynolds, Sean Levy, the writers of this film, as well as others associated with this movie going up against the Disney heads, going up against Kevin Feige about, of course, the looming reshoots surrounding the third act that are set to begin in just a couple of weeks from now that will last until late May of this year, before that July release date window. Now, interestingly enough, there's been a lot of drama happening with Joy Behar of The View, of course, with her involvement in Deadpool 3. Let's get into all of this and exactly what Reynolds had to do about all of that. Now, specifically, one thing that we do know about Bob Iger right now is that he is only making matters worse when it comes to the current status of Disney. He says all the wrong things, he makes the worst decisions possible, and it's only going to get worse and worse throughout this year. Now, on top of all of this, with, of course, the current Deadpool 3 drama only getting even more severe behind the scenes, especially for those standing up against Disney, like Ryan Reynolds and the director Sean Levy, one major development and update surrounding the situation has much to do with what Ryan recently did to Joy Behar involving the third Deadpool film. Now, originally, one scene was already completed by the Walt Disney Company and Marvel Studios that involved Joy Behar in the second act of the film to have a cameo within the film where Deadpool does a polite interview with Joy Behar. This was all mapped out by those like Iger and the board to promote the view to see if her cameo would boost ratings. The scene was described as innocent where there was no mocking toward the TV show host or jokes made. However, just recently, those like Ryan Reynolds gathered with director Sean Levy and the writers after the recent, after of course their recent situation where they stood their ground and they went up against the Disney heads and all of that drama. However, just of course, in the past couple of days when they stood their ground against the Disney heads, on top of all of that, and the writers, after they of course did that defense and gave out ultimatums about the upcoming reshoots and how they want to completely reshoot this entire scene to add comedic value to the scene featuring Joy Behar that will be redone via leftover footage that was previously excluded by Bob Iger and Kevin Feige. As of now, the original Joy Behar cameo scene was completely deleted and axed in which its main purpose was to promote the show originally in a non-mocking matter. However, now, Ryan and the writing team, and this was all a concept and proposal made by Ryan Reynolds, by the way, that was quickly accepted by Disney after they gave out those ultimatums, is that now the scene is to be redone and completely revised, in which Deadpool will be completely mocking and making jokes slash making fun of the TV show host Joy Behar and the host of The View as he goes into the quote-unquote real-world universe. In addition to this, Reynolds is also getting Hugh Jackman involved to take part in the scene that features Joy Behar, where Wolverine will also be making jokes about the show, The View, and the TV show host. This is something Bob Iger was fighting and attempting to prevent from happening. However, Ryan Reynolds and crew were warning that if some portion of the reshoots were not done in their favor, that they would be willing to drop out of the third act's reshoots, no matter what type of consequence that they would have to face. And this is what forced Disney to cave into their demands. Behar is aware, reportedly, of this recent development, and the drama has been so serious, it has been rattling throughout the corporate ladder of the Walt Disney Company. 
Behar is already aggressively demanding to not go through with all of this approach, as she believes this will only tarnish the show, The View, even further, and what she is calling her reputation as a TV show host. However, surprisingly, Disney is not falling into her demands, and Ryan Reynolds, with, the, with his reshoots, are now moving forward to mock Joy Behar at some point now within the third act of the film, that will also involve Wolverine in the scene dressed up in his iconic yellow suit with the mask on. So guys, let me stop here for one moment before I move on here. Now, what I think is so legendary about this is that Ryan Reynolds is the one who really stood his ground and really stood up for not just the fans, but also for the cast and crew of Deadpool 3, the creators as well behind this story. And they had the Joy Behar cameo in there, but it wasn't meant for a mocking matter, all right? Bob Iger and Kevin Feige originally did not want her to be made fun of or to get jokes made about her or anything like that related to it in that sense. And now that's all getting flipped upside down thanks to Ryan Reynolds where comedic value will be added to the third Deadpool film toward J Joy Behar and she's not liking it one bit. Now we touched on this a little bit a couple of weeks ago, you guys may recall, and this makes a lot more sense now because I think at the end of the day, nobody would have wanted FaceTime of Joy Behar, a cameo, if you will. And by the way, one minute and a half is the current time frame of this cameo of The View getting mocked and getting made fun of by Deadpool and Wolverine. But originally, Bob Iger and Kevin Feige wanted to make it a very innocent scene where it was just purely being shoved in there to promote the show with no real comedic value, where Deadpool is kind of just watching it and getting involved in the show. That made no sense to me. And this makes a lot more sense because now Ryan's adding real comedic value. He knows exactly what the majority of the general public think of Joy Behar in The View and why the scene needed to be revised, why it needed to be rewritten by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, and exactly as well why it needed to be reshot completely. Of course, with the archived footage that they're using. But on top of all of that, all right, some board of directors, some board members specifically, are already in fear that this will have a negative impact on ABC and their other ABC-run programs like Jimmy Kimmel Live and even Good Morning America. Ryan Reynolds also was able to make jokes about Kevin Feige that recently got approved, something that Feige was very hesitant about at first. Now again, so you're getting jokes also about Kevin Feige in this film, which only seems natural. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, given that one of the universes that will be explored in Deadpool 3 will be the quote-unquote real world universe, all right? Now, it's not going to be the main focus, just understand that, but it will be explored in this movie that is going to be quite lengthy, mind you, with a lot of cameos. So that's exactly why they want cameos from the real world to be inserted into Deadpool 3 because it will be one of the universes that will serve as a plot point to a degree in multiple acts. So interestingly enough, guys, this is another prime example that Ryan Reynolds really stands up for the source material, what Deadpool is all about, what the comedy is like, and you can't destroy that type of comedy as Disney originally intended to do. So overall, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.